Following an armed uprising in February that led Haiti's Prime Minister to resign, there was little doubt where the weapons in the gangsters' hands had originated. The UN says the firepower that has fueled Haiti's descent into chaos was trafficked from the United States. There's not a single gun or bullet that's manufactured in Haiti. Almost all of it comes from the United States, a lot of it directly from the port of Miami. Haiti is by no means the only country that struggles with arms trafficking from the U.S. South of the border, Mexico's government estimates 200,000 weapons enter the country illegally every year. Arms trafficking into Mexico is a serious problem. 70% of all the cartel firearms come from the U.S., available throughout the entire country, and leave criminals in many cases better equipped than local security forces. There are even WhatsApp groups in Mexico dedicated solely to the sale of illicit firearms. Grupos de WhatsApp públicos que venden armas. The arguments that we used. That's led Mexico's government to take legal action against the U.S. firearms industry and the practice of straw purchasers, those who buy guns illegally intending all along to pass them across the border. The manufacturers and distributors are negligent because they do not monitor and discipline their distribution, distribution um, channels and points of sale, knowingly that their guns are sold to straw purchasers. Companies have to be accountable to what they're doing and the harm Mexico is suffering. One of the targets of Mexico's lawsuit is Ammo AZ, whose firearms have been found at numerous Mexican crime scenes. But it's uh, politically motivated, just like the last one was. It's owned by Vera Chart Murphy, who staunchly defends his business practices. There's 19 of my guns that are listed that came through my store. Five years ago, we sell 30,000 guns a year. When you walk up to my counter and you want to buy a gun, we transmit your information to FBI and ATF. They're the ones that tell us yes or no, this person can have a gun. What you do with the firearm once you leave my store is really has nothing to do with me. But even legal arms trading can be problematic. Recently, Ecuador called off a trade-in of its security forces' aged equipment for more modern U.S. firearms after learning Washington would be sending its older gear to the front lines in Ukraine. Intentionally or not, as America arms the less developed world, it may be creating problems its neighbors cannot handle. Alastair Babastok, CGTN, Mexico City.